वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास ट्वेल्व सो लेट्स कॉन्टिन्यू विदर विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द बुक विस्तास दैट इज यून स्ट्राइज एन ओ लेवल रिटर्न बाई कॉलिंग डेक्स्टर सो वी हैव डिस्कस द लास्ट पोर्शन वी हैव रेड अबाउट इट डेट हाउ इवान्स इंजर्ड मैकलरी द इनविजुलेटर एंड ही रन अवे फ्रॉम दैट प्लेस राइट सो वी आर कॉन्टिन्यूइंग फ्रॉम पेज नंबर एटी थ्री एंड मैकलरी इंजर्ड मैकलरी मैंशन दैट on the last page of the question paper of that german paper uh, there was a photocopied sheet which gave the indications which helped ivans to run away basically so here i am reading now so next uh, and it also it was also mentioned in everything happened in those uh, basically in 3 minutes so you must follow the plan already some uh, something the vital point in time is 3 minutes don't let him too hard remember he is a minister so it was written that might be don't don't hit the invigilator too hard because he was a clergy person a fast approaching siren wailed to its crescendo the great doors of the prison yard were pushed back and a white police car squealed to a jerky halt beside them detective superintendent carter now as soon as the news spread the siren was there and immediately the police car came and that there was a detective superintendent carter came to that scene He was there. He came out from the passenger seat and he said, "What's the hell happening, sir?" And turning to Mark Larry, turning to the injured Mark Larry, "Oh uh, Christ, who's uh, who's hit him?" So basically, wh- who did this thing? Mark Larry cut across the explanation. Um, Mark Larry cut across whatever explanation the governor might have given. So Mark Larry interrupted in between only. He, he said, "Mark Larry, injured Mark Larry mentioned Els Field way." He said this thing. I know where Ivan. So he mentioned that Ivan's might have went to this place, Els Field Way. Very important to understand. Then, in bewilderment, Carter looked to the governor for guidance. So Carter looked at the governor at what to do next. So governor said, "Take him with you. If you think he will be all right, he is the only one who seems to know what's happening." So he said that the governor gave the indication to the Carter that take this injured person with you. Because if he would be all right, then only he can help us at where that Ivan basically uh, ran away. So next, what happened here? Els Field Way, Maclory had said, and there, and so before that, Carter opened the door, held Maclory inside, and took him from that place in a spurt of bravery. So in a very fast speed, Carter took the injured Maclory to the uh, obviously to the hospital or something. So now Governor was thinking, Els Field Way, Maclory had said. and there it was tearing up at the governor from the last few lines of the german text so he started recalling what matlary had mentioned and what he read in that on that last page of that question paper so he came to the conclusion from elsfield way he ran towards the headington place he went there and yes of course the examination board was in this elsfield way only so he realized that the examination board who was with the uh, uh, collaborating with this uh, authorities This was also in the Elsfield way only. So now he calculated it. How he calculated that he said that someone from the board of the examination might be involved with Ivans for this escape plan. Basically, he himself can't do anything alone. So there was someone who was involved with him. The owner turned to Jackson and Stevens. I don't need to tell you what happened to it. Happened, do I? His voice sounded almost calm in its catching contempt. So basically, governor uh, started talking uh, to Jackson and Stephen because Jackson and Stephen they were responsible for conducting the exam there. And which one of you two morons uh, who took it, who took Evans for a nice little walk to the main gates and waved him bye bye? So governor asked, from out of you two, who was that moron who took Evans to the main gate and said bye bye? You basically you were not able to understood to take it that that person was Evans only. So Stephen said, I was there, sir. You only told me what? Just like I told you, you say what's the hell? When you ran, sir, and told me to you said, sir. So governor was surprised to see what I told you. He said, yes, sir. You only ran. So he said, when was that? The governor's voice was whiplash now. So he his voice basically his tone changed. That when I have called you, so he mentioned that you called me around uh twenty past eleven. So exam got over at eleven twenty five a.m. And you called me around eleven twenty a.m. to tell to take this uh, invigilator outside. So till here we are uh, understanding the things that how that uh, uh, this Carter person came. Then we got to know about the Elsfield way. 
then governor calculated from elsfield he went to the headington then uh, we discussed uh, that uh, stephen mentioned that around 1120 governor himself called him to uh, accompany the maclaren to the main gate so till here we are discussing rest we will do it in the next class thank you and god bless you and submit the work timely